Is it on? Okay, I'm at, I'm at Heb, returning some stuff because uh, I got flooding in my house and I have to get a uh, new back door. So, it wasn't that bad for me. I at least have everything. Nothing personal was terribly lost or damaged or anything, so I basically did my due diligence and I, I, I was like a fiend. I was just sucking up all the water that was coming in. I got like an old carpet vacuum, so so I was sucking up water and I was putting towels down, but I went through the towels so quickly. Like as soon as I put the towels down, they would soak with water and I'm like, uh, I'm out of towels, what do I do? So I took my uh, shower curtain and nailed it, nailed it to the wall, I think I showed you guys. But that was pretty much all of my hardships, but there was a lot more people who had a lot more damages to their home. They probably lost everything. Um, so, I mean, it sucks to be in that situation. If you guys want to help at all, you can donate to the Houston Food Bank or American Red Cross. They always need help. Um, I just need a new back door, that's all I need. So I'm returning some stuff that I had bought for the storm and hoping to get some money back so I can help pay for this door and the frame and the installation. It doesn't make sense to me how the installation is cost more than the actual door itself. That kind of blows really hard. Anyway, that's what's going on in my life right now. Um, I can't really go to work because it's real far away as you guys know from the drive video, so I haven't been able to even try, I don't really want to try, because I don't want to be like, oh look, I'm driving 45 minutes to work and then it's flooded and I can't go through, oh well, then I have to turn around and go back and waste my gas and time. But I've been able to work, so that's at least good, because I have my computers, and it's been quite insane. It's just been really crazy and the kindness of people is absolutely amazing. I had to go and help an elderly lady and the place was flooded. Her entrance was flooded. So she called me and she was in a panic. She's like, I don't have power. I don't know what to do. Da, 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 da. And I was like, it's okay. I have power. I will try to come get you. Just stay there and I'll be on my way. But the entrance to her neighborhood was completely flooded. So I had to park my car and like beg some guy and this guy named Sean, he was a really sweet guy, um, he actually helped me go and get her and bring her back and so that she wouldn't get in the water, put her on her back and walked her through the water to get to my car and then I housed her for like a couple days and then her power came back on and then I got somebody to take her home because I don't have a truck. So yeah, if you have a truck probably a good idea thinking about getting a truck now like a high-rise giant monster truck so I don't have to worry about getting anything flooded um, we still can't go see Sparrow because it's flooded over there and that's basically a small update I feel like awful my sleep schedule is completely screwed because I was been watching the flood and everything at night like late at night and I need to adjust that. I have this weekend to do that, so that's at least good. But I've been trying to pay my bills and everything on time. Everywhere seems to be open and normal. But I gotta go to Home Depot and talk to a mill specialist. I went there yesterday, and the guy wasn't there, and I was like, oh, what a waste of time. I'm gas. But I got the phone number, so I'm gonna call him today. We'll call him today. Anyways, I'm gonna go and return those stuff to HP that I didn't use. Love your asses.